Google Gemini finally rolled out its AI services to those with workspace accounts just this week. After the world waited for like a year and a half, we finally have Google Gemini in our workspace accounts. So yeah, I know that sounds wild because a lot of free of uh, free accounts and enterprise accounts have had Google Gemini for maybe uh, six to nine months, but the rest of the world just got access to it. So I'm going to jump in and we're going to find out how Google uh, Gemini AI performs in spreadsheet. Is it any good at data analysis? All right. I'm excited for this one. Uh, before we jump in, let me tell you a little bit more about what this is. So my name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage generative AI to grow our companies and our careers. So uh, please subscribe to this channel and go to youreverydayai.com to sign up for more. All right. So let's go over this quick. So number one, you do have to enable this in your workspace account. So you have to be an admin. That is not very easy. If I'm being honest, uh, I went over that in another video, as well as my first impressions of Google Gemini for workspace, spoiler alert, not that good. Uh, but maybe in a specific use case, it's great. Uh, so once you do enable that in the admin settings of your Google workspace account, you have this new little uh, button right here called ask Gemini. All right. So I have a spreadsheet up from uh, YouTube. So I've, I've exported uh, a bunch of uh, YouTube analytics from our this very YouTube channel. Uh, this is more than 16,000 rows of data. And I've done a similar uh, kind of head-to-head -head comparisons uh, between Claude and uh, ChatGPT on how they work with this, uh, with this data. So I'm going to be doing uh, some of the similar uh, prompts that I did with this. So we kind of have a good, uh, a good comparison. All right. So once I press that button, uh, you can see here that, uh, Google Gemini, let's see, maybe if I zoom out, it's kind of hard. So I do like the user interface that I can easily slide this, but I wish I could see, uh, I wish I could see a little bit more, uh, of these, uh, of these suggested prompts. So let's see, it's kind of snapping. There we go. Uh, so right away, it's kind of giving me a summary, uh, you guys can see this. So yeah, it's, it's a little finicky here. This, yeah, I don't know why. Uh, it looks like it's fully adjustable, but it also seems like it's not. Let's see. Okay. This is weird. It's just following my cursor everywhere. This is kind of a, uh, kind of maddening. All right, let's see. Okay. If I go around, I can do it. All right. So I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to try this, this simple prompt. So just saying, please tell me, uh, what you see in this spreadsheet, please keep it brief yet specific. So again, these are the same uh, prompts that I ran in Claude and in ChatGPT. So one thing I can tell you right off the bat, Google Gemini is kind of slow, but that doesn't mean anything if it is correct. All right. So it says this spreadsheet appears to track the performance of various YouTube uh, videos. All right, good. Got it right. All right. So let's do our next one here. Let's go ahead. Uh, I'm not going to make make you watch me type this out. So now I'm saying, what is the optimal combination of published time and content type that maximizes video for average percentage viewed, impressions, click-through rate, et cetera? So again, why am I doing this? Well, this is a lot of data, right? And to get good insights out of this, you have to, number one, know what you're doing. And you also have to spend many hours in all this data to grab these insights, which is what large language models are great at. But you got to know, are these large language models any good? All right, so let's see. Uh, Google Gemini says there doesn't appear to be a clear optimal combination of published time and content for maximizing all three metrics. However, some trends emerge. It says higher, per higher average percentage views videos published in Q1 and Q2 tend to have higher percentage viewed. That doesn't make too much sense. Uh, higher impression click through rate. There's no clear trend for publish time, but videos about chat GPT or GPT four specifically. Okay. So nothing great there, but it look, it looks like it, it's, it is at least working, which is good. All right. Let's not ask ambiguous questions. So, uh, our next one, uh, where did my prompt go? So here's my prompt. I don't know where it went. Oh, that's because there's a lot of spaces above for some reason. But I said, identify the 10. Okay, that makes no sense. I don't know if it's still working or if it's done. Anyways, I said, identify the 10 videos that greatly outperform their peers in multiple metrics, views, watch time, subscribe, uh, subscribers gained, etc. cetera. Uh, and then what common attributes do these winners share? I don't even know if it gave me an answer. It gave me a random... Uh, formula, but I don't think it, it says create a formula. That's not what I want. 
Uh, I wanted to answer the question. So we'll try it again. It doesn't look like it says it. It says, I'm not able to create insights from sheets yet, but I can help you build tables. Wait, are we for real? Gemini, wait, is this, is this for real? Are you not able to actually work in sheets? Okay, I don't, I don't. This can't be true. Let's try again. All right, uh, let's try. All right, I don't think this one's gonna work because I'm asking about data visualization, which again, I don't know. All right, so I asked it. Sorry, I know these prompts are uh, acting a little finicky. Let me show you here what I put in. I said, visualize a funnel chart showing the progression from impressions to views. And it says it can't do that. That's fine. So it can't do data visualization, but can it really not do data analysis? Um, that would be wild. Uh, let's try uh, another prompt that's not necessarily even data analysis. It's more of insights. So now I'm saying, please give me 20 very specific and creative takeaways that can help me grow my channel. Please be ultra sp specific and find the most untapped opportunities for growth based on all of this data. So let's see if it can even do that. So it looks like it couldn't do basic data analysis, which is weird. It just gave me a just give me a suggested formula to run, uh, which didn't make sense. Uh, so let's see if Gemini, this is pretty simple. Okay. So it got this. That's good. Uh, so it says capitalize on chat GPT, do AI comparisons, practical AI applications, evergreen tutorials, AI for, for specific industries. Okay. So decent there, but I'm, I'm, this is crazy. I don't know if it was just that one prompt, but it looks like Gemini inside Google Sheets can't actually do any advanced data analysis? Let me give it a simple one. So I'm going to make this one up. So give me give me a second here to type live. This is the worst thing to do. So I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say based on this data, please, uh, please give me the top ten videos that have the highest uh, like to view uh, ratio. In other words the videos that got the most uh, likes per view. All right, that should be simple. In theory, it's a simple formula that you could put inside Google Sheets. So I'm wondering if it's actually gonna do it. This is one of the simplest things I can think of, right? We saw Claude and we saw uh, uh, ChatGPT, they could do amazing things with data visualization. Okay, so it says, I'm still learning and can't help with that. This is weird. Uh, so, I, all right. I swear I'm not getting cheeky. So I'm going to say, what data analysis can you do on this sheet? All right. So let's see if that can maybe, okay. It's not, all right, it says I'm not able to create any insights. So essentially what it can do is it looks like Google Gemini can, uh, can do some basic uh, creative insights, but it doesn't look like it can actually do data analysis. I don't know. Uh, I'm scratching my head here. I don't understand Google's AI strategy. I know sometimes I'm hard on Google, but this doesn't make sense. We saw yesterday that Google Gemini couldn't answer a very basic question in my Gmail uh, that was literally on my screen and it couldn't understand it. Here we are in Google Sheets. You would think uh, Google Gemini's AI could do some basic data analysis inside Google Sheets. So many people use Google Sheets. I love Google Sheets. It doesn't do anything. It gave me some, some, some more creative takes, but it couldn't actually do simple data analysis. It either gave me a formula or said it couldn't do it. So, uh, I don't know. I hate to be so hard on Google because we're a Google workspace. Um, I've done, you know, SEO work optimizing for Google for so long, but here's another uh, generative AI and Gemini uh, offering or strategy from Google that has me scratching my head. Uh, all right, that's it, y'all. That is our AI in five, which ended up being 10 minutes because I'm scratching my head. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to this channel. Let me know in the comments, what do you want to see next? Are you surprised? Also, please sign up for the free newsletter. There's a little surprise when you do sign up. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.